Hi, this is Kate Hess, librarian at Kirkwood Community College. I'm going to show you how to use the References tab in Microsoft Word to keep track of your citations. Uh, it will not only keep track of your citations, it will help you do your in-text citations and also create a Works Cited or Bibliography page for you. The References tab is right here at the top. Before you start, it's good to check the style, although you can change it later if you, uh, if you need to. MLA is definitely the most common style that we see students needing to use at Kirkwood. There is also APA style, which you will need for some classes. I'm going to show you MLA style in the example. You will before you click on that insert citation, you want to figure out where you where exactly you want your in-text citation to appear. In this case, I don't have a direct quote right here, but I am referencing some information I read in a book. So I want to click right in front of the period and then do insert citation. Okay, so this is a new source, meaning I haven't used it yet. Add new source. And here I want to choose what type of information it is. Where did I get it from? What format does it appear in? In this case, it's a book. And you'll see that references helps you out here by showing you how, what format the information should appear in. Okay, in this case, it's the author, and they're doing a last name, comma, first name. Now for the title, it's uh, the first letter of each word is capitalized, but I don't have to try to get it to do italics or anything like that. And also you'll see there's no period. Year. The city is the city of the publisher. And for medium, this is typically either uh, web or print. All right, I click OK. And now you'll see the citation has appeared here. Now I can edit that if I want to by clicking on it, you'll see this little um, menu pops up. This is where I can add a page number in. Don't, to do that, I click Edit Citation. Add in my page number, OK, and there it is. All right, and now I have a direct quote from that same book uh, farther down here, and I do want to cite that as well. Now in this case, I do have a quotation mark, and my cursor is going to go right after the end quote, but before the period. Now here I'm going to do insert citation again, and look, there is the citation that we just entered. Click on that, it, it pops in the last name, and again, in order to get the page number in there, I'm going to do edit citation, put that in, and OK. Um, now, in order to do a Works Cited page, I'm going to go to the end of my paper, do an insert page break. That'll get me started on a fresh page here. Back to References, Bibliography, and just choose the style you like. Works Cited is typical for MLA style. And there it is. I've got Works Cited and the citation that I just created. Uh, those are the basics. There is definitely more functionality here that you can play around with. Uh, you can go back to Manage Sources to do edits. Um, but that is basically how it works. And one more note on the Works Cited 
Typically, you want to wait until you've entered all your sources before you click that Works Cited. Although, if you do need to redo it, you can just highlight that, delete it, and do insert uh, bibliography again. Okay, thanks uh, and good luck.